what it is. It's Tyrus, and welcome to the Black Zone edition of Gutfeld. <laughs> I don't have a reason for that other than I really like my fort, so. <laughs> now, and of course, since I've set up the black zone, I can now start the show five minutes late. <laughs> That's a black joke, not allowed to laugh. Now we're, un now we're nice and uncomfortable. All right, let's go. Well, Christmas has come and gone faster than a biological male beating a woman in a track meet. And I'm sure Everyone got lots of presents, except this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, little Butterfield invented the naughty list. So wherever he is, I'm sure Santa's bells did not wake him up. All right, now I'm sure we all got something we'd like to return to the store. But remember, even though it's a big screw you to whomever gave you the present, apparently it's not all about the thought that counts. And, of course, you shouldn't feel bad for wanting to exchange it for something better. Which brings me to my monologue. Tonight, I want to remember all the crap we as Americans received in 2023 that we wish we could send back. For starters, you all had the lump of coal that Hollywood churned out this year. Yeah, Hollywood had its worst year in a generation which means the movies sucked. <laughs> More people walked out of movies this year than dads going for cigarettes in the 1970s. <laughs> Mine's not back yet. <laughs> I love the one person who fights the mean, like the sad joke. Thank you, Mom. I, which is sadder. I haven't seen that many misses since Kennedy took up softball. Not good. Mm -mm, not good. You can laugh at me not having a dad, but making a joke about Kennedy not playing softball is just <laughs> scotch too much. All right. Because in so many of the movies that bombed, the woke nonsense was the key ingredient. And they all, all they cooked up was box office poison. And speaking of woke Ask Bud Light how smooth that woke stuff went down. <laughs> hey, even Spud McKenzie wouldn't hump that leg. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Kennedy. <laughs> so my advice when it comes to gifts, keep it simple. Stay on target. Okay, maybe not target. <laughs> they clearly also missed the mark or thought Mark was more of a Diane. And some gifts just plain royally suck, and you need to send them back where they came from. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we taking shots tonight. We throwing shots tonight. Now, I'm not a complainer. I swear I'm not. I usually just keep my aunt's pink bunny suit and just re-gift. <laughs> like good old Juicy Small A. He's the gift nobody wanted, but just keeps coming back. You know, like the fruit cake that makes you puke? What, everyone likes fruit cake too? So no Kennedy and stay off fruit cake. Okay. <laughs> Although he lost his appeal a few weeks ago and is likely headed back to jail, at least there he won't be attacked by anyone wearing a MAGA hat. And speaking of people that were full of <laughs> this year gave us a lot of them. George Santos, Sam Bankman Freed, also known as Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> they lied their way to the top. Speaking of which, we had equity hires who refused to condemn anti Semitism. By the way, RuPaul called, he wants his glasses back. <laughs> Bam! <-ya! laughs> Just look at that. <clears throat> Oops. When you're right, you're right. Now, <laughs> we had the squad and pretty much anything they said all year. We had the scammers from BLM. Maybe we should offer them a free trip to Canada. I'm sure they'll love it there in the winter. There's tons of racism to root out in the polar bear community. 
But sometimes we get a surprise gift that just doesn't deliver. Kind of like the surprise balloon party China was throwing for us <laughs> until someone in Montana peeked up at the sky. Remember that? And did you hear the latest? The Biden administration planned to keep the spy balloon a secret from the public. <laughs> what was the president trying to do? Save taxpayers money on not shooting it down? If old Corn Pop really wanted to shoot something down, he should have shot down the idea of making taxpayers pay back everyone's student loans. Yeah. Now, the court said no, but Biden thinks anyone in a black robe is, well, the angel of death. You know, because he's close. Yeah. <laughs> and no one wants that gift either. Kind of like Mike Pence running for president. <laughs> and while I have you all here, speaking of white people, what the hell happened to y'all in 2023? Like, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Classic white people got fed up in Europe, grabbed some oranges, hopped in a boat, fought through the rough seas, fought in the snow, fought at night to get here. Then you got together and you wrote a constitution. Classic white people kicked ass and took names and a couple other things, which is how I ended up here. But it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> but this new version of white people in 2023, now a bag of oatmeal with blue hair and a pronoun name tag scares the <laughs> out of you. <laughs> what happened to white people? Get it together. And I'm not just saying that to just yell at you because <laughs> runs downhill. And under Mount White Bliss is Blackville, which means we're next. And I'm saying, hell no, we're not getting woked out in the middle of nowhere just like poor Juicy did. <laughs> but the biggest buyer's remorse this Christmas, drum roll, Kennedy. <laughs> That's right, old corn pop. Biden ended his third year in the, in the Oval Office with the worst, let's get it again, the worst approval of any modern-day president, which is quite a feat for someone who died in 1970. <laughs> <laughs> so we, all, we don't always get what we wish for, but I'm pretty sure nobody was wishing for another four of Sleepy Joe Biden, except maybe... Zhu Zhu Ping. <laughs> Hashtag no said. Right. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He worked for the NYPD back when they still arrested criminals. Former New York Police Department Inspector Paul Morrow. She packs more heat than a suitcase full of Duraflame. Townhall.com editor and Fox News contributor, Katie Pavlis. She's more fun than losing your virginity. Host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. He was the intellectual savior of the masses and the king of kicking asses. Somebody wrote that for you, it wasn't me. Actor, pro wrestler, and co-host of Tyrus and the Wiseman podcast, the one and only Aaron Haddad. Well, Paul, I'll, I'll go to you first. You will, huh? If, oh, I have to. Uh, first of all, thank you for your service and what you've done in law enforcement. Returns, if there was something I missed on my list, what was something you would love to give back? I, I think you caught it all. Um, I, I was, first of all, great monologue. Oh, Terrific. Thank you. you caught it all. Uh, it was a great year. It wasn't a terrible year. I'm going to tell you why. A couple of reasons. First of all, Hollywood. This was the year of the great pushback. And sincerely, Hollywood traditionally is how America talks to the world. And since, like, the 1960s or so, the message to the rest of this planet has been, America's terrible. Right. You go overseas, you hear that from people. And that's not what we should be doing. This year, we finally copped on to the fact that, number one, we don't necessarily need you. And over the next few years, thanks to AI, we're not even going to need actors. They'll just generate them. You can generate them with a, with a computer, which means we won't anymore have to listen to Katy Perry tell us how to vote. 
We won't have to listen to Mark Ruffalo tell us what horrible people we are because right. we're not voting for progressives. So I actually think this is a very significant re uh, year for that reason alone. We're finally seeing the pushback against La La Land. And you know what? Let them talk to each other. We don't need you anymore. Speaking of pushback, you, you've seen it all, and you've been outspoken. You've been on the woke, anti-woke front since day one. Are you seeing a switch? Are we starting to get somewhere close back to the middle? I think you're seeing great competition in this experiment we call capitalism. You see new movie studios popping up, people big in Hollywood who have been blacklisted, not because they didn't make hundreds of millions of dollars for people, but because they are conservative or libertarian-leaning, going to different companies and producing big films. Now, there might be more work to do, but that certainly is happening. And I think that Hollywood has been putting this plug-and-play plot line into every single thing they make, and it's just boring. Like, I don't even think, obviously, it has to do with wokeism, but it's just boring. You, you know what the story is going to be about, so why would you waste your time paying money to go to something that's be inappropriate for your kids or whatever? or spending time on Netflix when there's so many different options. So yeah, I do think that there, there is a turnaround, and this show has been a huge success as a result of the competition as well. This, this is true. Aaron, you're uh, allegedly an actor. You're out there. You just had a, you did a Netflix special that's pretty funny. Uh, the, the, what was it? The pay it forward. The pay it yeah. forward thing. Does this concern you at all, the fact that apparently we will no longer need you because <laughs> AI, you're, you're done? Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I mean, you know, trying to uh, diversify a little bit, but I, I think in Hollywood, you know, what we've seen in the last several years was, especially with the Hollywood executives, they are placating to the needs and ideology of a few as opposed to creating art for everybody. And uh, that really, it, it's kind of, I think, reached the point now where the pocketbook is being affected. And that's why we're starting to see the turnaround. Well, you know what, and that's why you go out and you get wrestlers, ladies and gentlemen. That is exactly why. <laughs> I was a little worried, but man, you just nailed it. Yeah, you may, oh, thank you you. may applaud him. You. you may applaud him. Thank you. Well, well. Kennedy, you have been the host or the co-host of this wild planet mm. on camera, behind the camera for, I won't say more than a decade because we've got to protect It's the since people. the early 1930s. It's the 1930s. <laughs> you've, you've been there. Great. You've seen it all. Yes. Life is trends. Is, are we starting to come full circle? I think we are coming full circle, and I think people are getting really sick of it because people want to go to movies, but they really don't want to be lectured to because movies are supposed to make you feel something. It is about escapism, and you can't feel anything when you're being told that you're a horrible person or that your worldview is a flawed one. And you would think for every Bud Light... Uh, there would be a course correction. But, right. you know, now you have Modelo coming in going, hey, man, our, our beer tastes like piss, too. So <laughs> we might as well have people drink that more than anything else. But people wanted to see Top Gun Maverick. And, right. you know, it's like it flew in the face of, well, you can't just keep reinventing franchises. It's like if you write something great that people are emotionally connected to and you have the added benefit where people actually feel really good about this country, maybe they will go see it. And, you know, they, they made two interesting, totally contrasted movies, Barbie and Oppenheimer, that it made people think and feel. But that was not enough to save the industry because you had way too much money being poured into utter crap like the Marvels. Yep. And I would like to take that and give it... I would like to take Disney back. Uh, give Disney back this year. Just... I don't even think Florida wants it anymore. No. No, and don't forget Godzilla Sub-Zero was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But before we go, reminder that my new book... Oh, I just happened to have it with me. <laughs> now said is now is available now in stores, of course, on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles and all the places we find best-selling New York Times books. But uh, don't forget to pick up your copy. I have mine. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.